everyone's having a great day, um, great, a blessed Sunday. Um, so today I thought I would talk on a topic that I barely see anyone talk about um, on videos. Most people, you know, they share the happiness of having houseplants and um, the joy that they bring us and, um, you know, just um, the enjoyment of the plant. Uh, but no one really talks about stuff like this or this. And I looked, I was looking, think, well, it's not on there. Been looking it up, looking it up, uh, trying to find just one video, just one thing. They're not all done because I did treat it immediately when I found out. Um... You know, I was looking and checking to find just one video on this topic um, on YouTube. Um, I did find a bunch on Google, um, but you don't really see much videos on this topic. And that's called, and the topic is called bacteria leaf blight, um, or they call it leaf spot, bacteria leaf spot. Philodendron is one of the ones that's are really, really prone to it. Now this one had it and I immediately treated it. When I got it, it was just, um, it was cold, raining, humid, you know, outside. Um, it was really humid and I had got this as a black cardinal. I got her in the winter and, um, she, her leaves, um, she's grown about two leaves since I've had her. But, um, when I first got her, here's one of the leaves actually that was, um, had this, the, the, uh, leaf blight, uh, leaf spot, um, or, uh, there was I think I cut that one off. The one there, it was like these ones, how these have, it looks like underneath the leaf is wet. If you see that, it looks like underneath the leaf is wet or it got some grease on it. Um, and I went ahead and cut hers off. Um, and she just was, her leaves were dripping water at the end. Um, she was really, really, uh, I had to let her dry all the way out because she started getting the white powdery mildew on her. And it's really from, you know, a lot of times the nurseries or the, um, the, um, grow houses, they, you know, have to water the plants really good and then send them off, um, you know, to the nurseries and then we end up buying them and there we have to bring them home and get them together. You know, uh, you see this, let's see if you can see this one has a little bit, but not really as much, but I had, I did have to cut some of the leaves off of that one. Um, so this is a black cardinal and let's see. So this leaf is a little affected, but I was able to stop it with the cinnamon and the neem. So this I use pretty much a lot. And it's bonide, neem oil, fungicide, miticide, and insecticidal. Um, it helps with powdery mildew, rust, white fly, spider mites, uh, all types of uh, different things. So... That's why I like this one because it's three in one. It's a good one because you can use it for everything. And then I also use the bonite. Um, it's a systemic. I pour it into the soil, um, but the systemic doesn't treat fungi and uh, bacteria leaf spot. So th this one had it from when I first got it. She's actually doing okay. She doesn't her leaves are good and I believe I did cut off one that was really really bad but um like this one has it a little but I caught it immediately and I treated it just like I did with this one right here so this is a philodendron red emerald 
Um, I got her, she already had the steak in her. Um, she has grown quite a bit since I got her. Um, this is a new leaf. This leaf's coming out. Um, and I believe she has one coming out. And then this one just formed. Um, the new leaves are actually okay. I just, there's just cinnamon on them. Uh, and I sprayed her down like last night is when I first noticed it. And the reason is, so I've been misting her. I was, you know, listening to everybody saying I needed to miss this, uh, her wood to keep her roots, grabbing hold to it, which I'm going to be repotting her and a few more of my philodendrons that, um, I've got a lot of plants repotted, but I still need to repot a few more and mainly my philodendrons. Um, but I'm going to repot her and then I'm going to get her a, either a cocoa core or more than likely a, a moss pole for her to climb up because this wood is, I'm taking that out and I need to put her in a terracotta pot. But for now, I'm just, um, I've wanted her to get situated and then the summer's just, spring's just getting here. So I was wanting to wait to do everything till then. Um, plus she had all these new growth. So, um, more than likely next week, I'm going to do that and I'll do a video on that. But for now, um, I really don't want to touch her because I did spray her down with, uh, the neem oil. And I also took some, uh, peroxide also just the regular 3% peroxide and I put a spray on there sprayed that down so last night I treated her with the neem and it says to spray it down till you soak it down and then I soaked her down um, and not to have her in a humid place and I also went ahead and um, sprayed her down real good all underneath her leaves on um, the, the her stems I sprayed in the soil and then today I threw some cinnamon on her and I sprayed with the peroxide so she's had about three different treatments so now I'm just gonna leave her alone um, for because she needs to get the neem again for seven days it does say to prune the leaves back um, which I'll probably get some of these, like the ones that the stalk doesn't looks really, you know, like it's bent or something, but more than likely, um, I'll leave her alone for a moment, um, and let all that stuff soak in. And then when I repot her, I'll go ahead and give her a trim down because, um, on, with all those things that I treated her with, it's not going to get rid of it, but it'll slow it down. And it's not affected unlike um, these leaves. Um, some of the leaves aren't affected. Really, it's like her new leaves. This one got a little bit. But I've learned with the bigger, healthier leaves I have uh, with this one. And then I also on my Congo, there was one, one of the leaves, actually two of the leaves. Um, let me see. Have the um right here and this was treated and look at how it went it pretty much stopped it in its tracks so uh and this leaf still looks good so i didn't have to butcher her down which i really don't want to do with this one um so that's why i'm just gonna spray all that i sprayed everything down um i have a fan on her because um and i don't have her in humidity so when you do this um for one when you spray the neem and stuff do it at night time because you want you don't want it to be humid because that will really kill your plant off immediately um and then i have been having her in a fan and i've had all my windows open today because i just spotted this so um I watered her and I've been misting her a lot thinking that I needed to mist her vines to help her grow and you know just reading all this stuff on Google which is not helpful um, and so you know I'm thinking I'm doing her good but I was doing her wrong because I had it humid and warm and been spraying her down I did have a fan on her but at nighttime 
in my kitchen, it's really humid in there and warm, and I turn the fan off at nighttime. So she had to have just got this within the last two days. Um, it had to have been actually the last two or three days, which I noticed it last night. So it, it generally takes within, you know, 24 hours. It can take hold, hold your whole plant if you don't catch it early. And I did catch it and I treated her. And now I'm going to let her dry completely out. I'm not going to water her. I'm not going to mist her. Um, only thing she's going to get sprayed down with is neem oil. And then the next thing is going to be some baking soda. Um, and what I'm going to start doing, my new thing now, I'm going to put the my mister, and I know this probably sounds a little crazy, I'm going to put a shot of peroxide and baking soda on there. So when I do miss my philodendrons and my marantas, um, I don't miss my hoyas, and they've been doing okay. I did give them all a neem treatment because... I was keeping it real humid and I didn't have a fan on them because I didn't want it to be cold. Um, so now I've been having a fan on, on all of them. Um, I have two fans. So this is one, it's just an osculating fan. And then I have another one in my kitchen. Um, and there's a lot of plants in there. So anyhow, so I'm just touching bases on this because I was looking all on the internet, could not find I'm sorry, not on the well, internet I found, but YouTube, I was looking for um, someone to be talking about this because it's really, it happens a lot in philodendrons. And I've even seen people do videos on philodendrons and they're not even mentioning, they're showing their plant saying it's so beautiful and it's got all these spots like this one. See, this is a baby black cardinal and I've been waiting for this leaf to unfurl if you see it's been taking a while but it's finally unfurling but um and then she has another leaf up there too but this leaf is unfurling so I was going to wait for that one to unfurl and then cut this off because I did stop it in this by spraying it down with a uh, the neem and the cinnamon because it started it was like a little bit working on here but i i was able to stop it so um and this leaf too so if you see this leaf a little bit but this is a baby and really i when i got her i didn't know nothing about her she had a few spots on her but i was misting her putting her around the humidifier and i wasn't having the fan during the winter time on them and so um she already had you know a few and i cut off some of the leaves but since she's a baby i really didn't do a big hack job and i figure uh, once this grows out and then there's another leaf but i did cut this one off because that one was a big leaf but it was all deformed it had you know this leaf spot this one so this one had a bunch of them this is the only one left and this is a jungle a baby jungle boogie uh, philodendron. This one only has one left, but the rest of the plant is looking good. I had to cut off a few of her leaves also, but, um, if you notice the other leaves are looking good. Once I sprayed her down, I did repot her, but, um, I sprayed her down and then I had to, um, pretty much get rid of a few of the leaves, but these were the ones left. And then there's one coming up out of here so um yeah so um your best friends are peroxide cinnamon um and neem oil cinnamon is good to put on cuts when you, anytime you cut your plant um you can sprinkle cinnamon on it it's also a root uh it helps plants to root um if you have your sense of areas and you cut it off you have to cut you know the rhizome or whatnot and you want it to um dry out in heel, um, you put the cinnamon on. So really the cinnamon just dries it out and prevents it. Peroxide's the same kind of way. It prevents bacteria. Um, the neem oil is good for bugs and for fungicide and whatnot. So, but yeah, so this is a common thing in philodendrons and it's one of the biggest things I've seen. Um, and it's mainly, it's called leaf, um, Bacteria leaf blot, uh, blot or blight, they, but it's really 
bacteria uh, bacteria leaf spot or bacteria leaf blight and um, online it'll tell you to you know prune everything back which once I repot her I'm gonna probably prune down and just let the top leaves so they'll grow up once I repot her I'm gonna get rid of these a few of these bottom leaves but some of them are not affected which is weird this one didn't get affected and I'm glad I caught it on time. So it's really important to, you know, on the outserts, it don't, it looks okay. This just is cinnamon. But if, um, wait, that one doesn't have. So this one, if you look on the outskirts, besides all the stuff I sprayed on here, you wouldn't know. Uh, wow, it's already working. But this one right here, you see how it has the wet around the leaf it's actually drying out already and having the fan on it but if i just took a look on the outside without that cinnamon i sprayed that cinnamon you wouldn't even be able to tell um that's why it's important to look under your leaves and inspect your plants pretty much every day if i wouldn't have checked on her because i've had her in my kitchen and it's real like i said humid in there and um the fan works i have it running during the day but i don't have it at night time but it gets really really humid in there and um i've moved my marantas in there and my uh tr my trio star and my rattlesnake you know those guys <laughs> and there's a few other there's propagations in there and whatnot so it's really humid in there they love my kitchen but uh, for a philodendron, I had sprayed her down and I feel bad because I've been misting her every day thinking, you know, I'm helping her and I really wasn't. So, um, I just wanted to touch bases on that because I haven't seen anyone talking about it and, um, plants are beautiful, but there's a lot that comes with it and it's important to constantly check them for bugs, check them for like every day, I'm talking twice a day, maybe three times a day, I check my plants. I'm constantly looking. And, um, you know, but I'm glad I caught that on her because it would have ended up just eating her alive. And I was able to get to it. And so not all the leaves and some of the leaves, now that I'm looking at it, um, are looking a little bit better. But it was because I caught it last night. And like I said, do it at nighttime. Spray it down real good to while it's dripping wet. Um, this is pretty cheap. They even have this at Walmart now. And I spent like eight for this. It's five bucks, I think, at Walmart now. Spray it down with that. Um, if you got to do it in your shower tub at nighttime because she's sleeping and she's not going to be doing too much. And then as um, soon as she, like, once the daylight came, I put cinnamon on her. And then I put a little bit of peroxide on her also. And I have a fan. I have her right up under a fan. I didn't put her in her window where she generally sits right there uh, with, you know, by the sun. And look at those Hoyas. And look at that girl right there. Just, I have to show her beauty. I know this is off topic, but look at that. Look at that. I cannot believe how she's growing. Believe it or not. With my Hoyas, they're just doing good. They ain't been watered and bothered with. But you see that beautiful leaf? She just gave. It's beautiful. And it's huge. Miss Princess doing her thing right there. But yeah, so my Hoyas are doing good. I actually did a good spray down with them too. With the neem oil. And the fan is was keeping them going. And then I have cups of water everywhere. But. I'll do my humidity thing one day too because I have a lot of different little ideas I use for humidity. But anyways, so I'm just touching bases on philodendrons with leaf. It's called bacteria leaf blight <clears throat> or leaf spot, but really bacteria leaf blight. This is what it looks like. Um, we'll see they're drying out, but. It goes to show the treatment because they were, this looks good compared to how it looked last night. So I'm actually sewing it down, but I caught it before on my Congo. It's still a little scarred, but it's not, it didn't take over the leaf. Um, and so you don't really need to get to butchering things down. It'll say online to start cutting everything off immediately. 
I'm just showing you what I've done and I didn't have to butcher her up. Um, I had to cut maybe a few of her bottom leaves off, but she's doing good. Um, so this one, she, you know, I just have her up under a fan. I won't let her get in no sun and, um, or any humidity at least for a few days. And then I'm going to treat her again with the neem oil sprayer down in the shower, leave her in there at overnight and then bring her out. Um, and then I'm going to repot her um, and put her in some new soil and give her a moss pole, which I will do an update so you guys can see. So today you'll see I treated her last night. Um, so next week I'll do a video on repotting her so we can see what it, how she turned out with her treatment. My poor baby was sick, so I'm so glad I got to her. But yeah, even this leaf was more bad and it's actually looking better so the cinnamon neem oil peroxide and then a preventative measure is going to be my baking soda those are your key ingredients to trying to prevent your plant from the a disease just taking over and eating it up um, especially with philodendrons so i hope everyone's having a blessed sunday hope this was informative and helpful because once again, I was looking for it. I haven't, I couldn't find one video on philodendrons with leaf blight. Everyone was talking about everything else, but um, this is a red emerald. I've showed you a black cardinal, a baby black cardinal. This is a, a jungle boogie. That's a philodendron Congo. My Salem's doing okay. My emperor, uh, philodendron emperor, is doing okay. Um, that I just had some messed up leaves, but she's actually got a new leaf coming out also and she just unfurled. So hope everyone enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed week. Thank you. Bye.